Morning, children. Mr. Bruce here with today's book in accordance with Dinosaur Week. Dinosaur starts school. But before we start, I was watching, I was listening, it was just quiet, quiet and calm. Okay. What would you do if on the very first day of school, Dinosaur was not smiling his usual big toothy smile? You'd say, don't worry, dinosaur. Don't be scared. It'll be fun. You don't have to hide under a pillow. What if he stamped his feet and roared his dinosaur voice? Rawr. But dinosaurs don't have to go to school, he'd say. And you'd say, of course they do. Dinosaurs have to go to school. Otherwise, how would they grow up to be so smart? What if you got to the school gate, the dinosaur wrapped his sharp claws around the fence and said in his very timid dinosaur voice, but it's too big, maybe I'll get lost. And you'd say, don't be silly dinosaur. You can't get lost because our classrooms are just the right size for dinosaurs. What if you reached the classroom, but Dinosaur covered his tiny ears and said in a quiet dinosaur voice, It's too noisy in there with all the kids. I'll get a headache. You'd say, It's only noisy in there because everybody's laughing and having fun. Come on in. What if the teacher asked all of the children to say their names? What if Dinosaur turned away and tried to hide under the table? Look at him. He can't hide under a table because he's so big. You'd say, I think you should tell the teacher your name, Dinosaur. She might think you're not here and give your crayons to somebody else by mistake. What if you were painting pictures of the sun? But Dinosaur made a big mess with his paints. What if his bright dinosaur eyes filled with tears and he started to cry? You know what you'd say? You'd say, wow, dinosaur, you made sunbeams come out of your sun. I wish I thought of that. And that would make him happy, wouldn't it? What if it was time for lunch? The dinosaur said in his worried little dinosaur voice, they might give us something yucky to eat. And you'd say, no, you just tell him you're a herbivore and you don't eat meat. Then you can have salad instead of hot dogs and hamburgers. A lot of dinosaurs just ate leaves and grass. They didn't eat any meat. What if everyone ran out to play, but dinosaur hid behind and looked very, very shy? What if dinosaur noticed someone else was looking shy too, over there? I bet dinosaur would whisper in his gentle dinosaur voice, shall we play on the swings together? Then you and Dinosaur and your new friends would have a great time pushing each other on the swings. Back and forth and back and forth. You take turns on the seesaw going up and down and up and down. You build a castle in the sandbox just like we do. You'd play chase until you were giggling so hard you couldn't run anymore. <laughs> what if at the end of the day I told you that was fun, wasn't it? Shall we come back tomorrow? And I bet you'd nod your handsome dinosaur head and say with your big toothy smile, you bet I will. And you'd smile right back. The end. Well, he thought he'd be scared of school, but it turned out he liked it. He was just a little nervous, and everybody is. When you go past the school and you say, oh, they don't look nervous, that's because they've already had their first day of school. After the first day or the first couple days of the first week, you start to get used to it, and then it's fun and you can't wait to go to school. 
So here's my question. Here are some of the things that were back in his backpack that his mother packed for him. A compass and a pen, a piece of candy and some colored pencils, and glue stick and a yo-yo and a ruler and an eraser and some stickers and crayons. And over here down in the corner, it's a little toy dinosaur, just like him. What do you carry in your backpack when you go to school? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.